Hello everyone! Welcome back to Storybook Farm in Stardew Valley where we are hoping that the NPC storekeepers will be more cooperative this week and will actually be behind their counters when we need them. Our weather forecast... Ooh, it looks like a storm is approaching. We'll have thunder and lightning tomorrow. That means we'll get more batteries from our lightning rods. And let's see what Wellwick has to say. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. And I believe it is the day for the Queen of Sauce to teach us a new recipe. Greatens, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, Mackey Roll, the delicate flavor of the ocean, sealed within a pillowy cloud of rice. Uh, maybe a bit of wasabi for the adventurous. My mouth is watering as we speak. Oh, how I love sushi. We learned how to cook maki roll. And of course, if we ever make that, we're going to be adding pickled ginger to our maki roll because we do not want to eat any of our nori rolls without pickled ginger. Let's go take care of all our animals. I don't need to worry about leaving them in the barn while we go up to Robin's because um, we're just getting an upgrade, not building a new building. Good morning, chickens. Thank you for your lovely eggs. Good morning, dragon. Glad that you spent the night in the barn last night where you belong. You may all come out and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the grass. And now let's check out our little cows. Still babies. We can't milk them yet. Moody you too. Out you come. We'll not forget to open your door today. I have 60 gold that I haven't collected yet from Emily's seaweed. And I have some watering that I need to do, as well as hops to gather and, of course, crab pots to refill, rebate, rather. And I've got peppers to harvest and a refined quartz in the recycle bin. Do I have anything else that can go in there? Nothing in this chest. Oh, no, I've got lots of soggy newspaper. Well, it's worth running the soggy newspaper through when I don't have anything better because the soggy newspaper can potentially get turned into cloth rather than just torches. Oh, my goodness, Shane is just sending me all the recipes this week. Tail Spinner, I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. More interesting even than the strange buns. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it, <laughs> Shane. He actually does like pepper poppers. He does not, in fact, appreciate strange buns particularly. We gave Demetrius a melon yesterday, and he's now sending us recipes too. I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Fried mushroom. And fried mushroom, of course, is George's favorite dish. So... Once we get a kitchen, which we will eventually get a kitchen, we'll be able to give George his favorite thing. We don't have enough ore to make even one new bar. I think we are going to need to do some mining right quick and right soon. But before we do mining, we're going to do some watering and I will cut out the watering so that you do not need to sit through it so I'm just going to rebate the crab pots water the crops and I'll bring you back when we're ready to head up to the mountains well the watering is all finished and just as I was getting ready to put away my can and throw a few things in the bin, all of these pickles popped up. So we need to put something new into those preserve jars. 
And what I have the most of right now is hot peppers. So that is what it's going to be until we have something more lucrative to throw into the preserve jars. I really should have saved some of my previous blueberries mm -hmm. because they would have done better than the peppers. But hopefully we'll get another blueberry crop before too long. Now, what kind of peppers? Pickled green beans. Um, I think that those are too good for our future spouse. Eventually we'll be rich enough that nothing will be too good for him. But right now we're still a poor farmer and I am not going to be giving him my cash crops. I will be making special parsnip pickles, especially for Harvey, that I don't mind losing out on the possible income from selling. But getting that recipe for the fried mushrooms reminded me that we keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I'm sure that all of you watching are remembering every time and are just totally fed up with my forgetfulness because I keep forgetting to check my mushroom cave on a daily basis. So we have a little bit more that we can throw in the bin right now to make up for the enormous amount of money that we are about to spend up at Robin's. Let's go the back way. I could take the mine carts, but I want to see if any new forage has spawned up here since it's a new week and we haven't walked this route recently. Never know when there's going to be forage or wiggly worms up here. There goes Demetrius. Hey, have a nice walk. Yes, I did. My husband almost set the house on fire last night with his science experiment. One of his beakers exploded and sent a fireball into the rafters. Thank Yoba, I used fire-resistant lacquer when I built the place. No wonder Demetrius was heading out in a hurry. So, we should now be able to make a big barn, which will unlock goats. And it would have been nice to have been able to do that yesterday, but Willie was not cooperative. I realized after I'd finished the day that I might have been able to come up with enough uh, minerals and um, Adventurer's Guild items to sell at Clint's and at the Adventurer's Guild to actually make enough money before Robin closed, but it would have been super tight. Okay, I'll start working on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Now, we have almost 3,000 in our current wallet. Hey, Linus. This is an easier time of the year for me. I don't have to worry about staying warm. Fair enough. I need ore very badly, but I also would like to make enough money to be able to buy a pomegranate sapling while we'll still get at least a couple of pomegranates before the season is over. And I would also very, very much like to catch a sturgeon before the summer is over, although this is not a sturgeon. It did come with a treasure chest though, and the treasure chest has, <gasps> oh yeah, elvish jewelry and a diamond and a geode. Thank you, Wellwick. Thank you, spirits. We will take it. I am so pleased with that. So our mayonnaise will give us a little over 900, I think. And then um, we need to make up about another mm, 2200 or so from either things that we get mining fishing or other produce that we can sell because the pomegranate is a six thousand dollar crop or six thousand gold or six thousand guineas whatever it is that the currency is so that is going to be a huge help that we have a diamond we can sell that's 750 right there oh what are you Thank you for hanging out near the treasure chest. That makes my life easier. Another largemouth bass. And coal. I will always take coal. I love coal. 
school makes me happy. <laughs> Eventually, in our second and third year, we'll be swimming. Oh, sturgeon. I don't know why I find the sturgeon so difficult. I have caught sturgeons in the summer before, but they've been in games where I leveled up a little bit more before getting to this point. For some reason, even though they're not according to the numerical system for rating fish difficulty, sturgeon are not significantly more difficult than things like mm, catfish and pufferfish and eels and trickier fish that I don't have a problem catching fairly consistently even at a lower fishing level than this. For some reason, I've been having a lot of difficulty with the sturgeon this summer. And I am a little wee bit frustrated by that. And I can't afford to buy the iridium rod and start using trap bobbers yet because there's too many other things I need to do first that are actually going to contribute to my one-year community center. I know that I'll be able to get a sturgeon in the winter because my fishing will be at level 10 by then. And I'll also have a kitchen and I'll be able to make myself some dish of the sea or some lobster bisque or something that gives an even bigger bar. So sturgeon won't be a problem in the winter and they will be back in season again in the winter. Now, if I had brought a beach warp totem with me, we could have run down to the beach and sold these directly to Willy quickly. But I don't need the cash until tomorrow. I don't anticipate. We are just pulling the largemouth bass out of this lake one after another. And those are fish that sell quite nicely. Pomegranate tree is coming tomorrow. And then we'll need to scramble to get cash to buy a goat. A single goat. A solitary goat. Because cows are better money makers than goats. We only need the goat for the large goat's milk and the goat cheese. So that we can finish that community center. Another rainbow trout. This... I think I will go till four and then I'll go down the mines. If I get another fish before four. Because I'd like to get some more ore also and not just fish today. All right, how did we do there? Three gold star, one silver star, largemouth bass, a few carp, a few bullheads, and um, the one rainbow trout, and the diamond, and the elvish jewelry, which definitely count <laughs> as very exciting items to have. We will put all the fish away in the chest, and the elvish jewelry, and the geode, and the wood. We're going to put the stone on our hot bar. We're going to put the staircase on our hot bar. We're going to put away the things that we don't need down the mines. Um, but we're going to take the green algae because we may need to replenish our energy. And then we're going to go for the iron levels, I think. And see what we can do in terms of getting coal, iron, and more stone because we will have another upgrade that will require stone before too terribly long. Oh, you slimed me. You got the jump on me there, slime. Plop. Not a terribly exciting level. But I don't mind getting a ladder as soon as I've killed the first dust sprite, or the second dust sprite. The last dust sprite, I think, is what I really meant. And I really don't mind it when the dust sprites break iron ore for me. That's very kind of them. Oh, you 
wretched, wretched slime. Let me get into a nice narrow spot where there are rocks on either side of me to keep you from coming at me from multiple directions because that is a very annoying thing that you have a nasty habit of doing. Ooh, we got a winter root. We will be hanging on to that because when we get our seed maker and our greenhouse, which is going to be happening fairly early in the fall, as a matter of some priority, when that takes place, we'll be able to actually grow winter forage crops in the greenhouse out of season and possibly get the jump on our community center bundle, depending on how things have gone with um, that all-important red cabbage and the rabbit's foot, which will take a while. Is there anything down here I want? Just slimes. I don't care about you slimes. You are not dropping anything exciting to me. It might be worthwhile if we have a large number of bat wings at the end of the day to try to craft another lightning rod or two or three before the storm tomorrow or even in the morning tomorrow before we leave the house because or before we leave the farm really and the reason for that is that we as i mentioned uh, will be wanting those batteries for iridium sprinklers but if we have more batteries than we need sprinklers oh look at all these dust sprites there are two excellent reasons for killing all the dust sprites that you possibly can even if you're a miyazaki fan and feel an incredible twinge of guilt because they're so cute and so adorable and they're just hopping around being sweet and reminding you of some of your favorite movies um and the two good reasons for killing all the dust sprites are one, they drop coal, which you desperately need, but when you kill enough of them, you get the burglar's ring. And the burglar's ring is a really awesome ring. It increases the chance of getting loot and good loot from the monsters you kill down the mines. And because generally there's always one last dwarf scroll that is just not coming quickly having the burglar's ring can make such a huge difference in getting it without frustrating yourself to death and keeping an eye on my health oh thank you bat i will take that but i will take the iron ore first because that is really what I came to get. I like this level. Iron and dust sprites. Well, it's a good thing you don't hit too hard because I am just not doing a great job at uh, killing you before you whack me. Oh, and you're surrounding me every which direction. Squeak, squeak. Little bouncy, squeaky dust balls of adorableness. I'm gonna try to not aggro the slimes if I can avoid it because slimes are annoying. And I'm not after slimes right now. How are we doing for iron ore? There is more over there. Oh, I, not aggroing the bats is a little more difficult. Would you please just come from the same direction for once? All right, what else can I eat? Cave carrot. I can eat a cave carrot because my health is a little lower than I would like it to be. It will be nice when those cows grow up and I can start having cheese. Okay, can we get a ladder? It's, no, we better, we better head back so that we can shut the barn doors. 
shut the barn doors and get our furnaces going and maybe craft another lightning rod or two. Okie doke. Put away the emergency ladder. Put away the slimes. Grab all of our tools. All of our bat wings. All of our fish. And our eggs. And I'm going to leave the sap so that I can take the elvish jewelry because I might forget that it's here. I can also grab that coal. Can I leave anything else in order to... Oh, I want that wood. Um, I guess I could leave the field snack here and the winter root here. The field snack can be used later for mining food and the winter root I am not going to process until I have actually got a seed maker. And then I can grab the wood and also the geode. To the bus stop. And then to the barn and the coop. Actually, before we go down there, let's re... Oh. Let's dump all of our fish. Every single one of the fish needs to go. And the diamond. And the jade. And the quartz. Now we can put eggs in the mail machine. And then we can go shut the barn door. And then we can grab the honey. And put some items on to smelt. Always check and make sure they're all there before you shut the barn door. If someone has happened to fall asleep in the hinterlands of your farm and you shut the barn door, they might not be there in the morning. We have another pine tar. No, I just want to grab the pine tar. I don't want to cut grass with my sword? Where is my scythe? <sighs> Frustrations. And yes, I know it's late. I know it's late. Put away the poppy honey. Put away the mayonnaise. And we'll do two iron bars because copper is faster and can be done while we're watering tomorrow. Do I not have more geodes around? Does not appear to be so. I'm not going to actually place... Oh, refined quartz. I'm not going to actually place any of the new lightning rods tonight, but I am going to build them so that I have them in my inventory and that way I'll remember in the morning that I intended to do so. All right, that is going to be it for this episode. Good night, Arhu. Good night, everyone. We made, wait for the total to come up, 1576 from farming, 360 from foraging, that was just from the mushroom cave, 1730 from fishing, and 1175 from mining, we made more than twice what we needed to be able to buy our pomegranate sapling today. And that's a great thing. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.